everyone and welcome back and if you're new to my channel welcome to you today we're going to be doing the readings for the lovely star sign of taurus so taurus without further ado let's start digging and delving and see what's rocking and rolling for you this week my lovelies okay so what have we got going on for the lovely taurians what is coming out for taurus 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 Last week of the month. Can you believe it, guys? Where has the time gone? And we have here, wow, the chariot. Okay, so we're ready for action. What is going on? Um, fast pace this week. So you hit the ground running this week. So, you know, very, very busy energy. So let's have a look and open this up and see what's going on. And why are you busy, busy on the dash? And we have death and rebirth. So we're coming in this week as a new you, a transformation. And um, wild horses couldn't keep me away from you. Okay, I've just got that song coming into my head. I think it was, I don't know who the original artist was, but yeah, wild horses. Um, I will drop the link in the description box below. Okay, but it's saying, yeah, I've got this... Uh, energy around you then this week where you're either defending or helping somebody and um, death and rebirth comes in because it's a, there's a big change in in a, in a in an opinion about somebody I feel I feel there's been somebody around you and then the pennies dropped that uh, this person likes you more than you realize hence why wild horses can't keep me away from you and you see them okay you see this person in a different light okay it's like an unveiling of somebody's uh feelings or affections for you so that's interesting so let's just get another card okay but if it's not romantic then i do feel um you are charging headlong into a new project it could be a new job that's unveiling itself to you. But I just, it could even be a move because looking at new scenery, it's like the death of one one situation of where you used to live and you're moving. So it could be a big move for some of you, okay? You could be moving into a new premises and it's the death and rebirth in that kind of a scenario. So um, we have here the magician. So you are taking control of a situation this week, Taurus, okay? You are taking control of a situation and you are judging your own feelings about something. As I said, I feel there's somebody around you who quite likes you, has hidden their feelings. And um, you are thinking to yourself, am I reading this right? Okay, am I reading the signals right? So let's have a look what else we've got. And we've got here uh, the King of Pentacles. So yeah, you are... You are thinking, big thinkers as well this week. I want to say for some of you, as I said, I felt moving and you're, you're moving and this is you in your new place, feeling settled, contented and um, happy in your new environment. Then I've got the King of Pentacles who I feel is a person that's been on their own, not in a relationship. But I feel like there's a uh, this is going to be highlighted this week. Uh, that there's a, uh, an energy around you that has had hidden feelings. Interesting, Taurus. Let's uh, dig in a little bit deeper. What is your inner psyche feeling? How are you feeling, Taurus? What is going on with you within? How are my Taurians feeling deep down within them? That wants to stop in my fingers. So I'll have that one. And we've got masquerade. Okay. So you are hiding your true feelings as well. So I do feel here. We've got a situation. Where you've got somebody in your energy field. Friend. Work colleague. Whatever that may be. You're hiding your true feelings. And then they're hiding their true feelings. Okay. But I feel... The universe wants to try and tell you that that this needs to be resolved. I think it's either going to be coming out this week from that other person or you are going to 
you are still, oh no, I'm going to say the opposite, you are still masking your feelings. It's like you can't believe it or you're frightened to approach this person, okay? Interesting, let's just have a look what the universe sees you as through their camera lens. How does the universe see Taurus this week? Okay, I feel like that one there. Okay. And again, can you see all the masks we've got going on here and the revealings and what have you? And it's saying, okay, <laughs> you're both reading off the same page, okay, but separately. So I've got two people here. I've got one with a key and one with a lock. So there is somebody in your energy circle who you like and they like and it's as though you've got to open your eyes both of you and see that there's there's something here meant to be and even the universe is spelling it out for you now and they're saying look you need to see what we're illuminating here you're both literally on the same page but <laughs> you've just got to pull it all together okay drop the masquerade drop the falseness because you don't need to because you both like one another well this is lovely so let's have a look at what animal spirits we're dealing with what are we dealing with for taurus love is in the air i feel like i want to sing that song now love is in the air every every, every minute every day or something i don't know the lyrics but <laughs> Love is in the air. Oh, Taurus, that's quite nice. Love is in the air. Right. And we have the alchemical sign of water, emotions, and we've got the shark. So I do feel, because uh, it's an attack, okay? I feel like I want to say you want, you want to attack this situation. You're going to attack um, your feelings and let them um, be made known to whoever comes out in this um, next card. They could be taking on the shark though, so to be ready that they might come out and spill out uh, how they feel about you, okay? Wow, <laughs> where did we start this reading, Taurus? Wild horses, you know, don't keep me away from you. And they are coming through as the wild horse, their energy, okay? So I do feel that, um, as I said, either you or they or them, whoever it is, um, it's going to be coming at a fast pace this week, okay? Their wildness is going to come out and you are going to um, take on the information. I feel like you're going to be bombarded or you'll bombard them uh, and it, the truth is going to come out. The truth is going to come out. I'm going to clarify that card, okay? I'm going to clarify that wild horses. It's a new phase, look, it's the new moon as the third eye. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is going. Right then, let's have a clarification on Taurus for the wild horses. Wow, go the distance. So it's written there, it's written in the universe. Okay, they've got the lock, the key, the book's the same on the page. The door is opportunity is just waiting for you to drop the masks on both of you and go the distance. This is being, um, it's like a twin flame or a, um, a soulmate connection here, guys. So that's lovely. So let's have a look what uh, message we've got coming from your spiritual side of things. Those who've passed over in your family, what would they want to pass on a message to you this week? What does spirit want to tell the lovely Taurians? What do they want to say to Taurus? And it's got a mother's love. Oh, wow. Okay. A mother's love is reaching out to you at this time and holding you close. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. So I feel a mother figure in spirit is pushing this uh, love interest. Okay. Um, because they want to see you happy, Taurus. Okay, they want to see you happy. And that's quite, it's made me quite emotional now. Because I'm picking up that person's energy. Okay, because um, they know you've been sort of struggling. And you do put a masquerade on. They're saying you do put a false face on. Okay, and underneath you try and keep it all together. 
but whoever this mother figure is around you, okay, in spirit, it could be an aunt, it doesn't have to be a mum, it can be an aunt, it can be a grandmother, it can be a stepmom or anything like that, a sister, a niece, it could be anybody who's close, who's passed over in spirit, who draws in close to you and all they're saying is um, they want your happiness and it's being presented here. Okay, so that's quite a very, very poignant message to us. So I'm going to pick a charm out, being as it's the last week of the month. And let's just see what comes out in the charms. Wow, Taurus. That person loved you to bits, who's passed over. Okay, and they always love flowers. They always like to buy flowers for themselves. Um, uh, so yeah, that's lovely. Um, I've got two. So I'm going to take the two. They want me to pick two out. And we have here the fairy who holds a heart on the sleeve. So it's matters of the heart. And then we have uh, the snowflake charm. And it's like saying purity. Okay. This is uh, wiping the clay. Like, you know, when snow falls, and it's, it's just like a blank canvas. So there's a new start here. If only you just come out and be honest with your true feelings oh wow taurus that's lovely so i'm going to read you my little bit of meditative poetry that i did for you taurus before the start of this reading okay before any of these cards came out and let's have a look what came out and it says here sing a song of sixpence a pocket full of hope as the universe is about to put your love life under the microscope Illumination, illuminate a person who has hidden feelings in the mix. So know that these are true feelings, not your heart playing tricks. Oh, wow. And so I wrote this before any of these cards have come out. And as you can see on my meditative poetry, I was picking up that there was somebody um, who's got hidden feelings. And vice versa. So, my lovely Taurians, it's not going to resonate for everybody this reading. So, do remember to check out your moon and rising signs because there could be additional readings there on the more on the general than the love side. And any likes, comments, subscribes, guys, shares keeps this uh, channel ticking along and growing. So, until next week, have a great week, and I will look forward to reading to you then. Take care, my lovelies. Bye then.